top five people that kind of influenced you. Because I'm going to keep it real with you. I'm going to put it like this up. I, I, I will say in my head, I throw, I throw my top five out from the South. Just to kind of give you an idea of what I'm saying. Like, number one, I, I got to give it to old Magnolia, old Soldier Slim. Right, right. Number two, I'm going to roll with Boosted, bro. Right. Because, you know, Boosted been in it for so long. And, man, I'm going to keep it real with you. When Boosted was coming up in the game, man, Boosted had my attention since I was in junior high. I think, right. you know, Boosted one year older than me. So, I'm going to throw Boosted out there. Uh, number three... I gotta go with BG. Right. Number four, I got to give it to my dog, Big Head the Dome right. Doctor. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And number five round, that's where it get kind of iffy at. I give it to somebody like Trick Daddy. Right. You know what I'm saying? So in my head, that's why I'm at with it. Because when I was younger, I was influenced into... The gangster rap type. You know, you I, I was influenced in that, bro. You know what I'm saying? And then I can say one thing out of the South. You are one of the most lyrical people I've heard come out the South. If you mention your name, you can't just mention your name with just any name. You got to throw your name out there with like a Andre 3000. You spit that game. The, the reason I like you so much because, like you say, reality rap. But at the same time... Man, you talking that talk, see, like you say, see, reality rap. And see, like, like your your five, like I get it, and 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 that's why I was in there because all those five were almost in the same section with music. That's a fact, you know. And but see, with me, I don't really look at it like. I got you. I got you. Know, you know, like, 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 I mean, bro, bro, I like Master P, you know? Oh, he a dog. Like, I ain't gonna like, lie. He a dog. Like, like, you know, he he was saying, like, he said what needed to be said on his songs. Like, he was, like, he was the reality rapper at that point, you yeah, know? Yeah, so, yeah, So, so, you know, I like, I like the Master P, you know? And Scarface, he definitely was a reality rapper. For sure. So, so, and, but see, this is another thing, though. Like, I learned not to be biased because I know that they're, they have bias in rap. Like, say, for instance, like, you broke your rappers down to fit your profile. Now, me or you might have not said nothing about a bright-skinned nigga the whole time. Yeah. Because we already know that it that's not that won't be a reason why me or you got it. And I don't know why it's like that. Yeah, yeah. But that's basically the science. You know, like certain people put certain people on and certain people deal better with certain people and certain people pull for more people and embrace them a different kind of way. You you know, you can embrace me. You know, we, we 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 have a connection outside of everything else. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. like okay, we, we we compatible. You feel what I'm saying? See people that's not compatible, you don't look at their flow, you know, like 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 Mac. Mac was a good rapper. Oh, that boy, that was you a know? dog. Mr. But at Magic? the same time though, you know, and he had to, you know, go through all what he went through. Yeah. But you know, he's still getting looked over because his persona is there by itself. He don't have no persona of his type of people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you stuck in the middle. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. like 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 say for instance with Boosie. CeeLo put you on Boosie. That's a fact. I I that's and a fact. It, it took a man that looked like you. It took someone that said, okay, I'm not tripping on if the broad like me or like you or woo 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 woo. I'm not tripping on that because I feel comfortable with making this move with you. Some people won't feel uncomfortable. 
Like, 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 you won't get in, they, you won't get embraced right in this crowd, but you'll get embraced right with this crowd. So you won't see, you won't see Kevin Hart putting old high yellow ass comedian on, but he'll put Tiffany Haddish on. He'll put somebody else on that's not too appealing because he know I'm not trying to give off no appeal. I want to be the appeal of this person in the room. But when it comes to putting on, I got to put somebody on, but I'm not going to go on the other side of the room. Like, with Drake, like... Yeah, yeah, with, yeah. With, with him, like, you don't see a, a, a dark-skinned guy with Drake. You don't. No. And it's not... By fault, it's not that he's racist or he color struck or nothing like that. It's just about, you know, the camera and Thanks. business and a flower and a flower pot. You know what I'm saying? It, yeah. It's not, a, you know, you, you have to have some type of camaraderie already there for to make it. But just think like a, the guy pulled up on it going up. You know, you're a high yellow guy, you go all the way. <laughs> Facts. You know, but, you know, you, you, and, you, and, you and Pusha T can't get along, I guess not. <laughs> <laughs>